It's a wonderful opportunity to be here today to talk to you about our network communications processors and digital signal processors. And you know, just a little bit of background. Um, we've been in this business for a long time, but the world is changing, and the world is changing at a very, very fast pace. So Rich talked a lot about the connected intelligence wave and what that means. And when I look at it in terms of numbers, what it really is is the number of devices that each of us is coming into contact with are increasing at an amazing pace. And if you think, you know, in the 90s, we talked about PCs and we were talking about hundreds of millions of units. Then in the 2000 time frame, we went into cell phones and we were talking about hundreds of millions, billions of units. And now, as we look in the next five years, with the whole smart mobile connected intelligence wave, we're really talking about billions of units. And just think about billions of units and how many devices each one of us has. And what that means is it places an incredible strain on the network and it requires a network to innovate in a very, very big way. And what do I mean by the network? The network is really all over the place. It is really starting from our internet service providers, going into the mobile networks every time you make a voice or data collection, uh, connection, as you go into your homes or your businesses with our um, wireless LAN networks and all of those networks, every one of these parts of the infrastructure has to be upgraded and that requires substantial innovation in the marketplace. So if you take a look at what's happening, this is really what our customers are seeing, both our customers and your customers. And when you look at traffic volume, you know, think about when we first started using cell phones. You know, not everybody had one. Now, today, everyone has several. And you know, the voice dominated the traffic increased very quickly, and then it leveled off a little bit. But what's happened in the last couple of years, especially the last 12 to 18 months, we've seen a dramatic increase in traffic volume due to data. You know, just think about all the smartphones, the iPhones, the new tablets. Every single one of those devices is connected to the data network. And what we're seeing is really there's a crisis that's happening in the network infrastructure. For the service provider who's providing all of that bandwidth, the revenue is going up, but it's not going up that fast. I mean, think of each of us. Each of us wants to pay about 50 bucks for an internet connection. We're not going to pay 100 or 200, even when our internet capability doubles or quadruples. And so for us, as the guts of the network, we must bring down the network cost. And that is leadership in terms of causing the uh, dollar per megabit per second to come down very, very quickly.